Day 191. I got butterflies in my stomach. In this dialogue, Emily expresses her nervousness about an upcoming presentation by saying she got butterflies in her stomach, prompting Tom to ask for clarification. Emily explains that it's a way to describe feeling nervous or anxious. Tom offers advice and reassurance, encouraging Emily to see the positive side and reminding her that preparation and a positive outlook can help alleviate her nerves. Here comes the dialogue. Tomorrow is my big presentation, and I got butterflies in my stomach just thinking about it. Butterflies in your stomach? What does that mean? It means I'm feeling nervous or anxious. It's like having a fluttery feeling inside because of the nerves. Oh, I get it now. That happens to a lot of people before public speaking. Exactly. Any tips on how to calm down? Deep breathing always helps me. Also, practicing in front of a mirror or friends can make you feel more prepared. I'll definitely try that. I've practiced, but I guess it's just the thought of standing in front of everyone. Understandable. Just remember, everyone wants you to succeed. That's a comforting way to look at it. Thanks, Tom. You're going to do great. Just speak from the heart and be confident. I appreciate your support. Hopefully, those butterflies will settle down by then. They will. And once you start, you might even enjoy it. Day 192, who's with me? In this dialogue, Liam suggests volunteering for a community event and uses the phrase, who's with me, to see who else is interested in joining. Jenna asks for clarification on the expression. And Liam explains that he's seeking agreement and participation. The conversation shows how a simple question can rally a group around a common cause, emphasizing teamwork and community involvement. Here comes the dialogue. All right, team, I propose we volunteer for the community cleanup event this weekend. Who's with me? Who's with me? What does that mean exactly? It means I'm asking who agrees with my suggestion and is willing to join me in volunteering. Got it. Count me in then. It sounds like a great cause. Fantastic. Anyone else interested in making a difference? I'm in too. It's a good opportunity to help out the community. Great to hear, Marco. The more, the merrier. Should we organize a meeting to plan our day? Yes, let's meet tomorrow after work to finalize the details. Sounds good. I'll spread the word to see if more colleagues want to join. Perfect. Thanks, everyone, for your enthusiasm. It's going to be a rewarding experience. Looking forward to it. It's nice to do something meaningful together. Day 193. You've been slacking off. In this dialogue, Jordan confronts Alex about not fulfilling his work responsibilities by using the expression, you've been slacking off. Alex asks for clarification, leading to a discussion about the importance of effort and communication within the team. The dialogue emphasizes understanding and teamwork in addressing performance issues, highlighting the value of offering support to overcome challenges. Here comes the dialogue. I've noticed you haven't been meeting your project deadlines recently. You've been slacking off. Slacking off? What do you mean by that? It means you've been avoiding work or not putting in the effort you usually do. I see. I didn't realize it was that apparent. I've been feeling a bit overwhelmed lately. It's important to communicate if you're having difficulties. We're here to support each other. You're right. I should have said something earlier instead of letting things pile up. Exactly. Do you want to talk about what's been going on? That would be helpful. I've been struggling to balance work and personal issues. Let's find a solution together. Maybe we can adjust your workload or deadlines. I appreciate that. I definitely don't want to let the team down. We all go through tough times. What matters is how we handle them and move forward. Thanks, Jordan. I feel better knowing I have your support. Day 194. What are you doing out here? In this dialogue, Nora finds Max in the garden late at night and uses the expression, what are you doing out here, to inquire about his presence. Max initially asks for clarification, leading Nora to explain she's curious about his reason for being outside. The conversation reveals Max's need for some quiet time and Nora's willingness to share the moment, highlighting the comfort found in companionship during reflective moments. Here comes the dialogue. Hey, Max, what are you doing out here? What are you doing out here? What do you mean? I mean, what brings you out to the garden so late at night? Oh, I couldn't sleep. I thought some fresh air might help clear my mind. That makes sense. It's quite peaceful at night. 
Yeah, it really is. Do you often come out here at night? Sometimes when I need to think or unwind. The stars are beautiful tonight. They are. It's nice to have a quiet place to go to. Definitely. If you want company, I can stay for a bit. I'd like that. It's nice to have someone to talk to. Then it's settled. Let's enjoy the quiet together. Thanks, Nora. I appreciate it. Day 195, keep it low key or low profile. In this dialogue, Eli advises Ava to keep it low key for a surprise party, leading Ava to inquire about the expression's meaning. Eli explains it as an approach to avoid attracting too much attention and spoiling the surprise for Sam. They discuss planning a subtle celebration, emphasizing the importance of discretion and consideration for Sam's preferences. This conversation showcases thoughtful planning and the value of maintaining a surprise by managing details carefully. Here comes the dialogue. For the surprise party, we need to keep it low key. Keep it low key? What do you mean by that? I mean we should make sure not to draw too much attention or make it too obvious. We don't want Sam to find out. Got it. So we're going for a more subtle approach. Exactly. We'll have a small gathering, nothing too extravagant. That sounds perfect. It's more Sam's style anyway. Right. Let's just invite close friends and family. Should we also keep decorations minimal? Yes, that's a good idea. Let's also avoid posting anything on social media. Understood. I'll make sure to inform everyone invited. Thanks, Ava. This way, we can still celebrate without spoiling the surprise. I'm sure Sam will appreciate the effort and the discretion.